Romy Bean joining us now. Romy, I think everybody is really excited for this series and for good reason. And one guy who helped the Avs get to this point has been defenseman Josh Manson. Yeah, you know, you look at Manson, he's arguably one of Joe Sackick's most successful trade deadline acquisitions. He's played a huge role on the ice and has also quickly become a fan favorite. I sat down with Josh this week to find out his hockey story and his road to the Stanley Cup final is unique for many reasons. Well, Pennington fell over. Here's Manson. Bennington's reset. Manson scores! Josh Manson wins game one! Josh Manson has quickly become a staple on the Colorado Avalanche and a key piece in the team's quest for the Stanley Cup. But his hockey story isn't what you'd expect of a Canadian kid with a dad who played in the pros. Obviously, I was around the rink a lot with my dad playing in the NHL for so long. But I never really understood the game. I never felt like I took to the game. I never had that passion for it as a young kid growing up. In his teens, Manson wanted to quit hockey. But his mom convinced him to stick with it, and it wasn't long before he caught the hockey bug. Then he made the most crucial move of his career, switching from forward to defenseman. And from there, everything fell into place. I went from hardly talking to any schools at all. Um, I think I talked to one maybe my first year, two. Within the month, I had teams calling. And by the end of three months, you know, I had a couple NHL teams call. So it really, it was the turning point. I was uh, very blessed that that ended up happening in my life. When Dave Manson found out that uh, his team was going to play his son's team, he said, good, I can see my granddaughter now. Right. <laughs> he sent Josh that very text. Fast forward to 2022, Manson's hockey life came full circle when he went head to head with his dad, Dave, in the Western Conference Final. While it was all business during games, it wasn't lost on Josh just how special the moment was. Being able to look across the bench and see him uh, and then to sit on my side of the bench and just kind of sit back for one second and think like, wow, this is really cool. He's, he's over there and we're competing against each other and we, you know, he's worked so hard as a coach and then you know how hard I've worked to get to the NHL and then for us to meet uh, in the conference finals like that, I mean, it was, it was crazy. What was that moment like in the handshake line with him? It was special, uh, you know, a little emotional, just telling him I love him and, and giving him a hug. It was, it was, uh, it was special. Dave Manson once got close to hoisting a Stanley Cup, but he fell short. And it's a feeling that Josh has never forgotten. In Dallas, when they lost in game six in the finals to New Jersey, and uh, I was at the game with my mom and it was double OT. And when they lost that, that feeling um, of just how disappointed we were and, and how badly I wanted my dad to win. Uh, that's kind of my only memory of the Stanley Cup. Now as Josh looks to create a new Stanley Cup memory for himself and his family, he's relishing the moment and reflecting on the journey. It's almost like it doesn't, it hasn't hit me. This whole ride, it's just been so, so amazing. Um, this team, this, this group, this organization, um, just the way everything's gone, it's been so amazing. Do you allow yourself to think about picking up the cup, hoisting it over your head, you allowed yourself to like think about that all the time. I think about it. I've thought about it every single day since I've been a hockey player. Um, you know, but even before I was in the NHL, that was that's the dream. As a little kid, you want to lift that Stanley Cup over your head. So I, I think about it every day. And now, even as I get closer, I think about it even more. You know, now I asked Josh. Okay, so is Dave rooting for the Avs now? He said, "Look, he works for the Oilers, but, but he's rooting for me." So in spirit, he's rooting for the Avs, right? The bloodlines run deep. Oh, the yeah. bottom, the bottom line is Dave's rooting for the bloodlines in this one.